Ethan, are you there? Hello. Hi, I'm here. Hey, he's here. It's so nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Really excited to be here. So cool. Uh, did you enjoy being a part of our gaming competition? Yeah, it was really fun. You know, it was great meeting Naomi and it was great playing some games. So I had a blast. Yeah, it looked incredible. Her character was so cool, so colorful. So awesome, yeah. So creative. Uh, and tonight we will be looking at some of your mini game ideas. So if you haven't already, please send them in and Ethan and I will review them. So we'll also be getting to know Ethan a bit more. So send in any questions you have and we'll get through as many as we can. And later on, uh, we want to chat, chat about type of games you love the most and why uh, you could be a big fan of MMOs, platform games, survival games, or world building. Um, and we love to hear about what you guys are into. So just let us know in the comments. And I think we should kick things off with a question from the Blue Peter fan club. This is from Deep Diving Dolphin and Candy Cloyd Galaxy 123. The usernames are so good in this fan club. You can just let you know. Um, the question is, when did you decide you wanted to be a gamer and how did you prepare um, for the videos? Well, I was already a gamer before I started YouTube. So I was playing like Minecraft. There was like a, a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game that I used to play loads. Um, so I would play those and then you know, decided to put some videos up on YouTube with my dad. Um, yeah. And it was, it was really just, you know, I'd get my iPad out. My dad would do all the complicated things. I would just be sitting there with my iPad, like, can I play now? So, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So, that is cool. Uh, really we, have cool. An, we have another question here. Uh, hey, BP, can you ask Ethan what his favorite game is? Because I'm dying to know if it's Roblox and ask him what game on Roblox. Ooh, what is it then? Well, it's Roblox or Minecraft, but I think there's so many games on Roblox that it's hard to choose one. You know, because one day you might be feeling like playing one game, other day you might want to play another. So just so much. You know. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's so loads. So incredible. Uh, True Animal Protector said, "Hi Ethan, if you could enter a video game for a day, which one would it be Ooh. and why?" My fave games are Minecraft, Squadron, Splatoon 2, and Pokemon. Let's go, Eevee. <laughs> These They're games really good happy. games. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I could enter a video game for a day, uh, I, I really like like the Legends of Zelda games. Mm -hmm. And I think because it's open world, you know, you can explore where you want, you can do what you want. So I think probably Breath of the Wild, I think would be the one I'd do because that's the more open, open right. game ones. Open okay. World. Crazy Cat Meow said, hi, Ethan. My question um, is being on Blue Peter a dream come true. You bet. It, it is. It, <laughs> <laughs> it is really because you know this is. It's such a such a big thing, and you know it's just, it is amazing being it, and you know it's amazing having this opportunity. And uh, you know, thank you for having me on here. It's great. And best, and best so, of all, and best of all, you get to wear a BP badge. Yes, he's rocking there the BP go. badge. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Uh, right, we have another question. Uh, this is from Evie Popster. Hi, if you could be any character slash animal in a game, what would it be and why? Oh, okay. Any character or animal? I think probably a character because, you know, there are so many. But I think, I don't know, maybe like, a, like Mario, maybe? Because uh, he's got, you know, he can, he can have the different outfits. So he can have different powers like the fireballs, uh, the cat yeah. outfit sort of things. We can jump higher. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. So, I know. I think being yeah. a character of any video game would be cool because you would have like loads of powers that you just don't have in real life. Yeah. <laughs> which that is would incredible. Be pretty cool. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think um, we should move on because our amazing BP fans have been sending in their ideas for mini games. Uh, and right. I have to say, we've got some really special ones here. Uh, let me see. This is from. The Seed Queen, uh, and Ooh. it says, my game idea is called the Wild Beast Cave. The aim of the game is to find the magic cup and return it to the Wilder Beast King Stone, which will break the curse of the Wilder Beast King <laughs> and bring him back again. It's a story-based game. It's set in a magic cave, and you can play it by moving your character around. That sounds Ooh, wow. amazing, doesn't it? That, it? that would be really cool. Wow. 
That is it. That is incredible. We have so much uh, game ideas here. Honestly, you guys right. are incredible for sending sending them in. I think we may have wow. uh, a That's few a one. more. Uh, this is from Sahana the Monkey. I love these as a name. Her game will be called the Solar System. You have an astronaut suit and you collect meteors, asteroids, and moon rocks. You have to collect Ooh. as many as you can. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, there are aliens trying to stop you. And I love space and planets so much. Wow. I agree. Like, I am such That's a, a good fan one. of, like, you know, space, space travel and all that. So yeah. that is one of my favorites. That is one of my favorites. Um, no, I, I think... I sh I'm going to ask you a question, Ethan. Ooh, what okay. body slash boss would you be in this game, in this space game, if you had to pick one? I think the aliens, obviously, that's like kind of, you know, you have to do that one. I think that's a really good idea. Um, I think maybe like, uh, like a, I don't know, maybe, maybe like robots or something. Yeah. I don't know. Uh -huh. You know, you've got I'm... aliens, you've got robots, you know. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Evil robot. Uh, but I think, I, think, I think aliens is kind of the one. So yeah. I think. yeah, I think maybe like an evil goblin, like a space goblin or something like that. Space goblin. Space goblin. <laughs> Getting really creative here. Um, <laughs> Unihorse7863 uh, said, my game idea is awesome jobs. You pick a job and whichever job okay. you pick, you get to do. Every time you do your job well, you get paid. <laughs> the more money you get, the more games you can un unlock and play. And you can go through adventures on the mini games and discover new facts. That sounds That's like a, a game of yeah. life, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you get to pick whichever job you want. That sounds yeah. good. That that does sound good. Um, that would be great. Now, Ethan, if you weren't a gamer, what would you be and why? Oh, that's a that's a tricky one. Um, I mean, I I edit my own videos, so I could be an editor. Uh, I'm doing loads of cooking at the moment. Maybe a chef. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that that would be pretty nice. Um, yeah. I mean, I play the piano. I could be like a pianist or something. Oh, wow. I, I don't know. That would be like pretty you cool. Do anything? You could yeah. do anything. Uh, Dazzling Blue Star said, "I have a game idea called Sky Steppers. Uh, you have to jump from different clouds and platforms in the sky to collect stars and find different badges. Ooh, maybe a BB Ooh. badge. Who knows? Uh, when you collect good. a badge, you get a challenge to complete. And once you have completed all the badges, you have completed Ooh. the level. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? That sounds really good. That would be a nice one. Yeah, it would. Like, imagine yeah. imagine if the different badges were, like, the different BP badges, like the blue, yes. the green, the purple, that the orange, really, and then the gold. Really good one. That would be, that so would be cool. like, the main one. Yeah, that would be, like, nice. the ultimate level. Um, I like that one. That's a good idea. Yeah, same. And how many, how many different things... Uh, can you name that you might collect in a game? Uh, you know, you could collect coins. Uh, you could have another currency system like gems. Um, you could collect maybe like pieces of an object to finish a level. Uh, you could have, uh, what else could you have? Maybe like something that, you know, you, maybe you're on a quest for someone. So you yeah. could like kind of find that person or you could find an object that means a lot to them, that sort of thing. Yeah, you know, there's, yeah. There's loads of things you can do. So, Pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I see. I see. Sparkle three thousand said my game idea. Uh, the name is City Creator Mega. The genre is action Ooh. slash sci-fi. Uh, the story. Uh, you get to travel to any main city in the world and have the chance to rebuild it. You can rebuild That's it all. Cool. There are selections. That's a cool one. I like. I know. It's super cool. There are selections of people, animals, buildings, parks, transport. Uh, and clothes to pick from uh, to create your city. And this game can wow. be played as a single or in groups up to four. Ooh, mm, I like very, that. That's a good yeah, I like it too. Uh, the mega element of the game is that you can take your city to a certain level. You can place an island and design everything on it and even choose where the island is situated. Wow. That, that, that's my game. That, right I there. like that one. That's love, a really that good one. one. Um, now, you, I love building and that sort of thing, that would be really cool to do. I yeah. like it. Yeah, because you could build like a giant mansion or something. That would be yes. incredible. On that your own private so island. <laughs> oh, that like, would be amazing. That would be so cool. Uh, talking about travel, have you ever um, traveled to, like what, what places have you traveled to in the world? And would you ever love to turn those places into a game? Well, I, I mean, I've traveled to uh, Australia. I've been to America. Um, I think like... 
Australia is just full of full of wildlife and animals, so I think that would be a pretty cool one to do, like an animal type of game. Yeah. Um, I think America is kind of like you know the theme parks, the the fun, the food, that sort of thing. So it could be maybe like a, an adventure theme park type of game. Uh, yeah. You know, I think those those two would be pretty good. Uh, oh, I I, um, I went to Chicago once, and because that's called the Windy City, maybe something right. to do with that. That is cool. I've been to, I'm trying to think of what games could be created around the places I've been to. I've been to, I've been to America as well, but I've also been to Thailand and where I stayed, there was this like beach and on the beach was this like massive swing that was attached to like this huge tree. No way. So imagine a game where like it, you had to like level up. So the, the bigger your swing was, the more points you collected or something. I'm just thinking uh, of my toes. I don't know why. That's I'm a saying, good one. But it sounds <laughs> like a good game. Um, it does. <laughs> uh, Tree Animal Protector said uh, their game is called Treetop Journey. You play as a small monkey and have to swing along vines to get through the jungle. That's like mine. Uh, yeah. Watch out for jaguars, snakes, and crocodiles. Ooh. But be sure to become. Uh, but be sure to become a- allies. I thought it said aliens. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to become aliens. Uh, make sure to become allies with toucans and ants. Oh, I like get- toucans. Figs, bananas, oranges, papayas, and mangoes uh, as you swing along the jungle. And I have to say, you know, this this is a lot more yeah. cool than my than my game. <laughs> uh, the monkey's super move is to call for its friends, and then loads of monkeys monkey pals can come out. Oh, wow! Wow! It's all I like the monkey cool. pals. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> um, no, nice. Ethan, what would be what would be the scariest thing to face in a game for you? Like, do you have any fears or any like phobias? Oh, uh, spiders. <laughs> spiders would be like yeah. number one. I can't stand them. doesn't matter mm. if they're like really small or if they're really far away. If you look at it for a minute, you turn away and it's gone. I'm moving house. They're so creepy and slow and it's like, just honestly just go go away just, just go if me and my mom were like you know in the house by ourselves and i seen a spider i'd be like mom you deal with it i'm not dealing with it you, you can deal with that yeah. <laughs> right uh we'll take another one midnight bat said i've got a game so you can start off in the amazon rainforest and you'll have Ooh. to make uh friends with the natives and animals so you can learn to live in the jungle it's called That's survive survive i that i like that so that it's kind cool. of like a like a survival type of game yeah uh, yeah that's good i yeah. like that do you think so like much... uh, a boss could be maybe like uh like a like jaguars or like maybe like a really big gorilla like if you come across it it's like really not friendly at all <laughs> yeah <laughs> all these That'd ideas cool. all like, all these ideas are so creative like your imagination is like yeah I, i'm not even on that level um <laughs> But if you had a, a jungle tribe, what would it be called, do you think? The, the jungle tribe. <laughs> no um, pressure. Oh, uh, maybe... Oh, I can't admit, the, like the gamers, maybe? The gamers? The gamers. Uh, God, I, I don't know. Uh, it's a hard one. It is a hard it one. Is, it is. I'm trying to, I've, I'm trying I've to never think. thought about that before. If I had a jungle tribe, what would it be? Uh, jungle tribe. A jungle tribe. I don't know. That's that's a good question, actually. Um, oh, maybe like the the Donkey Kongers. Maybe <laughs> going back to Donkey Kong, you know, in the in the yeah. jungle. <laughs> or uh, you know, I'm just spitballing here, but Adam's Cavemen. So it's like a, a really bad <laughs> band. <laughs> um, anyway, swiftly moving on. <laughs> um, uh right let's uh let's try to answer some more of your questions per and marmalade kitten said hello what's your favorite game and game character overall well my favorite game um i don't know if you know this game ethan but my favorite game i used to play it all the time and it was called geometry dash and it's like the, yes. the little app it's like a little game yeah. on your phone and you can like uh jump over like little uh obstacles just like yeah. half on the screen it was so fun I've it was so addictive. i loved it oh, what's your favorite? so hard though I um i think my favorite you know obviously it's between roblox and minecraft uh i think roblox is my favorite game you know i've been playing it for uh for years my favorite game character oh god there's, there's so many you know it's uh it's pretty hard to choose but i think either 
Donkey Kong or maybe like maybe Link from uh, from Legends of Zelda. Oh, that would okay. be a pretty good one to do. Yeah, um, yeah. But I mean, Donkey Kong, imagine just swinging around on, uh, on the vines in the jungle. That'd be pretty fun. That would be so, pretty fun. And you mentioned yeah. you mentioned that you know you you do uh, you edit your videos and stuff like that. So yes. You are pretty pretty techy. Have you done any Have you done any coding yourself? Oh like God, no. Coding, coding no. is the place where I fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> really? Um, I can you know I I uh, when I was in school uh, you know when I was in like uh, computer science lessons when I had those um, we were being taught how to code. And I could probably code how to get a square to move left. That's about it. <laughs> I can't do anything else. <laughs> I know. No, it's so so hard. Uh, when you see yeah. when you see the amount of like code it takes to just like move your character yeah. along it's like another screen. language. It's, I know it's crazy. So it's, it's so hard to do. Insane. Um, Hogwarts fan one said hi. Ethan. Well, I like that name. I know. Same. Uh, I'm so excited for Minecraft 1.17 update whatever yeah. that is uh what is the first thing you will do when it comes out uh play it <laughs> <laughs> that's the correct answer well Get done right on it you know um i think i'll probably start a survival world start from the beginning and try and use as many of the new things as i possibly can uh, i might make a video on it actually i think that'd be pretty fun so cool. yeah cool. that'd be good yeah. uh and you obviously love minecraft so if you could build 100%. anything in real life that you might have built in Minecraft, what would that be and why? Oh, uh, that's a tough one. I'm not much of a, a builder. I think usually I, I like going in mines and mining loads, but I made one time, I tried to, <laughs> I tried to make a castle uh, when I was like pretty young and it did not work out at all. It looked really wonky. <laughs> <laughs> so well, the moat was yeah. like really thin on one side and so well, just, just imagine a wonky castle in real life. I, th I still think that would look pretty epic. You know what I think? Yeah. <laughs> you could just say, oh, yeah, it was meant to be like that. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's meant, meant to be, to be wonky. Yeah. I thought about that, yeah. Uh, Nitty Kitty said, what do you do in your spare time when you're not playing video games? Well, I like to cook. Um, so that's really good. I like to, uh, like to play the piano. Um, that's, you know, that's really it um you know i go on my phone play some games on there uh that sort of thing so you love gaming yeah, just really chill yeah oh yeah, yeah i love gaming <laughs> love gaming <laughs> All um and i've seen here that uh the comments have been down on the website so, so i'm so sorry if some of you've been trying to get in touch um but i have a question okay if you had oh. to invent a completely new mini game what would you create oh okay um i think parkour I like I really like parkour, so I think it'll probably be a parkour game. Okay. Um I think maybe maybe like English centers, like an English map. So like, you know, it's red, white, and blue colours, maybe. Or uh like running away from like the Royal Guard, that type of thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um jumping on a maybe jumping over scones. By the way, do you say scone or scone? Scone. Yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I don't think All I've ever heard anyone scone. say scone. scone. All my friends say it, and I'm just like, it's scone. It's scone. So. <laughs> it is scone. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, I'll. Oh, this is a good game. I'll give you three words to create a game, right? I'm going to give you three words, okay. Ethan. You have to create a game. Okay. Words. First word shells, mermaids, palace. Shells, mermaids, palace. Yeah. Okay. So you could be, you know, you the the maybe it could be like a multiplayer game, and the hub is the palace. So you could be in a palace. Maybe all the characters are mermaids, and you can customize the mermaid. Oh. Um, and maybe it's kind of like an open world game, and you have to find a certain amount of shells for different people. Maybe so you could get a quest from uh, a certain person. They ask, "Can I have the uh, red and white shells?" And you have to go looking for them. Maybe. How do you How do you think of this so fast? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I uh, I don't know. I just think palace seems like a very big sort of area. So you want to make that kind of the main kind of thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, <laughs> I mean that sounds like an amazing game, and you just came up with it in like ten <laughs> seconds. So well done. Uh, Stargear Nine said my mini game is called Dance the Video Game. You have to make Ooh. a dance routine, and there are four judges. 
who rate your marks out of 10. You compete against others, and the person with the highest score wins. Ooh, it's like a little dance competition. I like that. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. That That is really cool. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Cute Animal said, my game is called A Day at the BP Studio, and you have to <laughs> film it, do jobs there, and present it. Ooh. Oh, I play uh, that game. That sounds... I play that yeah. game. Natural <laughs> 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 at that game. <laughs> right. Oh, actually, speaking about dance moves there, uh, and that game we just mentioned, I think you should show us your best sitting down dance move. I'll show you mine first. Oh no, I can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Classic. I'm gonna go for the classic. Oh yeah. Oh, I oh, can't yeah. do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> go on, Ethan. Show us one. Show us one move. Just a chill one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Go out of I don't me. know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Mayela said, "Hi, I think there should be a game called Kick Kick Three. Uh, Ooh, in it, okay. the judges create a kick and you have to create the same one. You level up Ooh. every time you get it right. It sort, it sort of sounds like Bake Off, but doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I like cake. I like that game already. So, you like cake? What's your favorite type of cake? Chocolate cake, I think. You know, a nice, a nice chocolate cake with a nice chocolate ganache, I think, would be. Yeah, but yeah, chocolate fudge classic cake. English uh, vanilla sponge cake, Victoria sponge. Can't Ooh. go wrong with it. Oh, definitely. That's a really good one. The Sea Queen said, if you could only play one game for the rest of your life, oh, what no. would it be? Why can't I play them all? <laughs> <laughs> it's a question. One you game. have to answer it. Oh, one game. I think, oh, that's a really tough one. I think Minecraft, because you can, you know, really it's kind of endless what you can do. So you wouldn't really get bored. You know, if it's like, if it's one game where it's, you know, you've got a beginning and you have an end, you might get bored after a while. But I think... I think Minecraft would be a good one. So yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And t- talking about food, I love chatting about food. Uh, yes. you say you love cake, right? Hundred percent. What would be the one food you could only eat for the rest of your life? If you had to oh, choose no. one food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be and oh, why? Um, one food. Chocolate cake. I, well, chocolate <laughs> cake. Um, pizza. I like oh. pizza. Yeah. Um, I made um. Uh, what about what about chili? I think that'd be a nice one. I I quite like chili. I yeah, I mean, constantly constantly eating spicy foods though for the rest of your life. Oh you may yeah, regret that. That. Wouldn't, that, <laughs> that wouldn't end well. You may regret that. Um, but Ethan, it's been amazing having you here. I have to say. Uh, but I have one last question for you, right? And it's okay. from Was the Fox and Candy Cloud Galaxy 123, and they Ooh. said, do you have any tips on becoming a successful gamer and making gaming videos? I think really it's just do what you love. You know, it's not, don't do what you do for other people. So play games that, you know, you would play in your free time. Uh, and as long as you're having fun, people watching will have fun. That's what worked for me. Yeah. Uh, and as long as you believe in yourself and you kind of, you believe that what you are doing, you know, you can do it. It'll all go well. So, really special advice. Well done. Uh, thanks for joining us. And if you have course, any, thank you so much for having me. Do you have any other uh, words of wisdom to leave our fan clubbers who are watching words today? Words of wisdom. I think, you know, just be yourself and just have fun. No matter what you're doing, just as long as you have fun, it'll be all so right. Words of wisdom. So. You heard it here, folks. Uh, well, that was fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much to everyone thank who so was watching. For um, thank you, Ethan, for joining us again. It's been loads of fun. Uh, and make sure to keep watching Blue Peter every Thursday at 5 p.m. on CBBC. Uh, and you can head over to the BBC yeah. player if you missed it, so you can catch up in there. But yeah, yeah, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Ethan. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye. Hey, it's Lindsay here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and if you want to watch brand new BP, head to BBC iPlayer.